the destruction of European Jewry. The great Torah centers that shone in Poland and Lithuania were destroyed. They are no longer in existence. Slobodka, Mir, Tels, Grodna, Radin, Kelm, Kamenitz, the Navarnik Yeshivas, and many more were reduced to ashes and rubble. It seemed as if they would never return. <laughs> The Perushim Kolel and Kovno and an Eishashok went up in flames. In Israel, in the aftermath of the Holocaust, lonely individuals spared from the flames went about picking up the pieces. The founding of a new world. At the start, it was one yeshiva, and then another. Baran Chazon Ish built yeshivas to Ferris Tzion in Bnei Brak and then invited the Ponovich Rav to rebuild his yeshiva anew in the city alongside Rav Isaac Sher and the Slobodka yeshiva. At the same time, he also opened a koilel for married students who gathered around him and continue his teachings in the koilel Chazon Ish. In Yerushalayim, yeshivas Eitz Chaim shown under the leadership of Harav Isser Zalman Meltzer. Close by, Yeshiva's Chevron was growing under the leadership of Harav Yecheskel Sarna. The Mir Yeshiva was built anew by Harav Eliezer Yehuda Finkel and his son-in-law, Harav Haim Shmulevitz. Slowly but surely, Torah began to blossom in the land of Israel. The Koilalim had but a few young men studying full-time and they became the disseminators of Torah and the leaders of the next generation. <laughs> Decades later, in 1989, the entire Torah world, comprising a score of yeshivas spread out from the north to the south, numbering thousands of students, rallied to the call of the Gedolim and the Roshi Yeshiva, with Maran Rav Shach of blessed memory at the helm. Meanwhile, halls of Torah continued to grow under their leadership and expand with their encouragement. The vision of the founders of the renewed Torah world had become a reality. Blossoming and mushrooming of the Torah world was not well received by certain factions in the government. They tried any and every way to slow its blessed progress and stunt its growth with discriminatory legislation. During this period, our Rabbonim, the Gedolim, have initiated a tremendous revolution across the Torah world by announcing with a clarion call, so they shall increase and spread out. In following, scores of yeshivas and Torah centers are established under their able guidance throughout the land. I'm 
Shiva Shlita publicly appeals in writing and in person, reaching out to potential donors in Israel and overseas to try to give them an understanding about the need in our times to go the extra measure and uphold the Torah by supporting those who study it. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> 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 The Rosh Hashiva instructs his followers time and again to found networks of Kodalim and to establish scores of Kodalim for married young men which are spread out across the entire land in an unprecedented fashion. There is no populated area in Israel without a koilam. Every young man whose goal is to sit and learn Torah can find a koilam. <laughs>
has grown to an unprecedented size in the Holy Land. Tens of thousands of Talmidei Chachomim are sitting in Bate Medrash, yeshivas and koivalim in every populated area of the country. Against all odds, and in spite of all the discriminatory legislation, the godly promise has become a reality that the Torah will never be forgotten from the mouths of your children forever. Oh, my God.